welcome back to simply local today we're going to be making some nice fluffy roast coconut bake and smoked herring so if that's sounding good and i know that's sounding good stay tuned Guys, it feels so good to be back. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Because I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> I don't know how long the producer, aka Badawi, is going to have me in hiding, but he brought me out from behind God back today. <laughs> he laughing, you know why I say that? So we're going to be making some coconut bake and smoke heron. As, and as we're talking about smoke heron, I know it has some people, Nana, Nana is a selfish person. Okay, fine. If you're a selfish person, it's fine. But if you like a little smoked heron, you know you are going to enjoy this recipe so we have everything laid out and thankfully he did all the cutting you know i mean it's good to have a man around the house who could cut <laughs> and he definitely is <laughs> right so we're gonna get into it but first i want to get our coconut dough or um bake recipe ready Be and we're using one that is off of the eat of your channel you all know badawi is mr bread man mr baker man mr flour man anything to do with flour you know he is the king of that and he has made me look he shocked you oh you did the flour fracas a couple of the right 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 so and i truth be told i have gotten or gained more confidence in working with flour from badawi's recipe so we're going to be taking it straight out of the eat a food channel and of course we're going to list the ingredients and everything that we're going to be using so we're going to tend to do and whilst that is resting we're going to then prepare the smoked herring so let's get into it so growing up when my mom did coconut bake she hasn't done it in years i am familiar with it being with it being done on the stove top so she would you know lay it out on whatever and then put it on a pot on the stove so it's called that um stove top bake or pot pot bake or whatever so that's how we're going to be doing it today right so first let me just actually i'll do this nutmeg glass so we're going to add in our dry ingredients so we have salt sugar some yeast yeast just going to incorporate that a little bit and then I'll also add in our coconut because I mean how else you are getting a little coconut flavor yeah add a lot add a little coconut man um and I mean for me some people don't like the texture of coconut I I do not like it as much in um sugar cake I find it's just too much coconut but in things like coconut bake I could tolerate you know because it's nice to have that little texture so I'm just adding in all of the coconut here and I'm making sure it's incorporated. It's starting to look a little grainy, which is fine because the coconut had a little moisture in it. Right, and now I'm going to grate in some nutmeg. Now my mom uses cinnamon as well. We like to add a little spice. A little spice is good. If you add a little spice to your bakes, let us know in the comments and if you've never then now is the time to try it. Just give it a kind of, especially when it bakes, it will get the little hint of it there. Just add a little bit more. Nice. Mix that around. Then we're gonna add in our fat. In this case, we're using cooking. Vegetable shortening. Oh, vegetable, vegetable shortening. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetable shot. <laughs> oh gosh, I know we know it as a household name, right? But yes, we use it vegetable shot then. Oh Lord. And I know some people are saying, why is she not using a hand? I will get some, I will get to using my hands just now, right? Okay? Ease me up. I just want to make sure this, you know, it's working a little bit. And then I will switch to using my hands. And this is gonna come together really, really quickly right so now we're going to add in our liquid and to give it that extra coconutty flavor we are going with coconut milk duh yeah so let me just and liquid what i realized when it comes to adding liquid um in bacon 
even though the recipe may have a certain amount it's always best to not pour all one time because the humidity i realize affects you know how the dough could come out so in some cases you may not even need as much liquid or in some some depending on how the temperature is you might need a little more so it's always better to test instead of just throwing all in there right it's all right then coming together and we use the coconut milk it's just a little warm not cool right and that's just gonna help get everything together so now i'm starting to there's a little elbow grease so just bringing it all together until it comes to like a ball and then i will transfer it to a flat surface all right so on advice of badawi the bread man says we need a little bit more moisture so i'll do that and add Take out everything. All right. Okay, 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 okay. So, but now we explained. Um, I've never actually done this method before where I kind of like squeeze in the dough, but we making sure that it's hydrated and we want to make sure that the coconut bake is soft. <laughs> oh, already it's feeling better. Well, well, more. more. And squeeze the team. I'm always like afraid of it being too tacky. Is it come together okay got it so we're gonna transfer to the flat surface now and just knead it past the badawi test it feeling nice and soft so just gonna knead this a little bit oh, badawi say five minutes so oh, i was so um afraid of bacon i had a phobia about it i really really had a phobia about it but since i make the first bread you saw that episode um since i make my first bread you know i'm not as intimidated by dough anymore use your hands like mm -hmm. this and this kind of oh the yeah. okay yeah. ah yeah. i do that yeah. <laughs> oh good how are you looking there oh so we skin get nice and Yeah, bright. boy, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So you're going to let this rest. And while it's resting, we will get on with our smoke heron, which is going to come together very quickly, by the way. All right. So we're getting into the smoked heron. If you've never seen it before, this is what it looks like. It's also known as kipper. Now, we are very familiar with smoke Okay, the, the, the proper way is smoked, S-M-O-K-E-D, but we just say smoke heron, all right? So if you're in the Caribbean, you are very familiar with smoke heron. Um, it is a very oily fish, um, and it is also known as skipper. And in here, obviously, just like the salted cod, it is salted to preserve it, right? So we would have hydrated and put some boiled water on the um smoke heron before it's just to soften it let it release some of its oil and also some of the salt so this is what we have here and also it um as it softens it's easier to take out the little fine bones now it's impossible to get out all of the fine bones which is why some people tend not to like it um the fine bones really bother me here i kind of like the smoky flavor and i still i can't say if i like smoke heron more over salt fish I think I like them both the same. Um, you know, they both go really, really good with bake. And not just bakes, you could either um, stew it down and add it with rice and dal. Smoke heron, rice and dal. Woo that does lash. This is what it looks like. I got out most of the bones. So now I'm just going to, and I don't like, I don't like it cut up too finely. You know what I mean? Some people like the um, smoke heron, really, really minced up. I still want to get some texture. Right, so now I'm just going to wash my hands and get right back. 
Okay, so we're gonna heat up some olive oil here. And we're just gonna add it at the end. But the heating up of the olive oil, you don't have to obviously, right? But it's just gonna wake up all of our ingredients. Okay. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of lime. Sorry, to get it. So we add our tomatoes. This really is one of the easiest dishes to do because there's very little preparation involved, very little cooking. I mean, and again, you don't have to cook the, you don't have to heat up the oil if you really don't want to go on the stove, right? Some garlic. Some pimentos. Make sure to smarry all together. All right, so we're gonna add in the smoker now. I don't wanna make sure I get everything. Mix. And the good thing with this is that the longer it sets, is the better it stays. The longer it sets, is the better it tastes. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Yeah, everything will kusume and come together. All right, so I'm just gonna add the oil now. Yes. Yes. Chonke. I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this. Mm. This is just ready for some hot bake, man. Hot bake. I like a lot of veggies in mine, so that's why I added so many tomatoes and onion, but obviously you could go less. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Perfect, I didn't even need to add any salt. It is perfect, look at that. How long did that take? How long did that take? If you've never made smoked herring before, let today be the day that you make it. We debunk it, it's easy, it is delicious. The only thing, the only major part is that you have to just take out the little fine bones. Again, it doesn't bother me, um, but it is really, really a nice dish. And I really like this method of adding the hot oil at the end. It just make everything come alive and kind of meld all of the aromatics together. So we're gonna let this set and then get back to our bake. All yeah, but are we whole men a little old talk? <laughs> so um, it rise, it raised a little bit more than I wanted it to, but that is fine. So I'm gonna take it out. It is extremely, extremely soft. I'm just going to roll it out. Real coconut in this big boy. <laughs> I'm just going to la lightly grease the pot. See how low that fire is? That fire is very, very low. So this step, I've just always seen my mom do it, so I'm gonna do it too. And it just look pretty. This is just really a childhood memory, you know what I mean? She would make the bake, put it in the pot, and I would just see her do it with a fork. Nice, nice, nice. Okay! That was easier than I thought. So then we just kinda Make sure I move it around. Cameraman, you can. Right? And we're now going to cover. And wait for the magic to happen. <laughs> Woo! Mmm. Cover it back and maybe in about five minutes, we could be ready. Five minutes, we could be ready. The sound of doneness, <laughs> finally. So we're just going to, ooh, ooh. <laughs> let's just admire, let's just admire the little bake. All right, okay, fine, again, a little bun bunny. I was a little over eager. <laughs> 
to get that part a little brown so i raise the fire just a smidge but um this is a perfect looking bake and i would not leave Ollie hanging i know Ollie want to see me cut into this thing right because i want to cut into it right Yum. Yes. The bake is so soft. Came together so quickly. And you see that? The time that takes to marry and come together. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We win it or we win. This is our winner. So if you never tried coconut bake on the stove before, try it out. And let us know when you try it out. You will love it. So guys, thank you for watching this episode of Simply Local. This was a really, really nice and easy recipe to make. So guys, when you try it out, let us know. Because I know you're going to try it out. Do it because I say so. <laughs> That's good enough reason. But also it's going to taste good. And when you try it out, let us know. I know people usually do the bake in the oven. But try it on the stove top. It's a little different. It little um, old school, like how my mother used to make it. Um, and just have fun. Enjoy the food and let us know how you like it. Stay tuned for the next episode of Simply Local, where we might be doing what? Accra? You tell any people? We're doing Accra. So get ready for that one.